You are listening to Second Chance Music. The following are parables that Jesus wrote. Enjoy and God bless. Nearly 2,000 years ago, in the town of Nazareth, in the land of Galilee, there lived a young man named Jesus. And when he was 30 years old, he left home, and he went to the Jordan River, where a preacher and prophet named John was teaching people to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. John lived alone in the desert. He wore rough homespun robes woven from camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate berries and wild honey. Many people came to hear John preach, and he baptized many of them in the waters of the Jordan. One day Jesus asked to be baptized with all of the other people. But John recognized that it was the Messiah himself who stood before him. I ought to be baptized by you, John said. Yet you come to me. And at that moment, a spirit softly descended from the heavens like a dove and rested upon the shoulder of Jesus. And from above, the voice of God said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Jesus left John and traveled about the countryside to share his teachings. When he came to the Sea of Galilee, he spoke to a group of people near the shore and told them, Blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Love your enemy. For the sun rises on the evil and the good, and rain falls on the just and unjust alike. The people were surprised, because at the time the law passed down from Moses said that people should love their neighbors and hate their enemies, that God would help destroy their enemies. What Jesus said was completely new. He said, When someone slaps you on one cheek, turn and offer him the other. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. There were two brothers, Peter and Andrew, who listened to Jesus as they sat in their fishing boat. Jesus said, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they left their boat and nets, and went with Jesus, and traveled with him throughout the land. Great multitudes would gather on hillsides to hear Jesus. Often he spoke to them through parables, little stories that teach a lesson. One day sitting in a boat near the shore of a lake, 
he told the parable of the sower. There was once a man sowing seed. And as he cast it into the field, some seed fell along the path where people walked upon it, and a flock of birds came down and ate it. Some seed fell among the rocks where it somehow managed to sprout. But as the sun rose, the sprouts died, for their roots became parched and had no soil in which to grow. Some of the seed fell among the thorns and weeds, and the thorns choked them out. But at last some of the seed fell upon good soil, and there the plants gave a good harvest of grain. Jesus said, The seed on the path is like those who hear God's message but don't understand it. The seed that fell among the rocks is like those who joyfully receive the message but it does not stay with them and alas, they do not survive. The seed that fell among the thorns is like those who hear the message but get carried away by the cares and pleasures of life. They too will bear no grain. But the seed that fell upon the good soil is like those who listen and understand the message and have a good and honest heart. They reap a bountiful and rich harvest. And the people listened and they understood. Now at that time there were scholars of the law known as Pharisees who felt threatened by Jesus because his teachings didn't agree with the laws as they knew them. So one day, while Jesus taught in the temple, a Pharisee asked him, Teacher, what must we do to gain eternal life? Jesus replied, The law says you must love God with all your heart, and you must love your neighbor as yourself. But who is my neighbor? the Pharisee asked. And Jesus told the story of the Good Samaritan. There was a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho, and a band of robbers attacked him. They beat him and stripped him, went off and left him lying half dead. And a priest came along the road, and when he saw the man lying there, he passed by on the other side. And another man came along, and he was one of the wounded man's countrymen. And when he saw him lying there, he also passed by on the other side. And so it happened that a foreigner, a Samaritan, came upon him. And normally, these two men would not even have spoken to one another. Yet this Samaritan saw the wounded man, and his heart was filled with compassion. And he came to the man 
and bathed his wounds and bandaged them with strips of clean cloth. Then he placed the man on the back of his own horse and walked along with him to an inn where he cared for him all through the night. In the morning, the Samaritan paid for the bill and said to the innkeeper, Please look after this man. Spend as much money as you need to, and when I come this way again, I will repay you in full. Now then, Jesus asked the Pharisee, Which of these three men behaved like a neighbor? Why, surely the one who showed mercy and kindness, the Pharisee replied. Then go, Jesus said, and do the same. One day a crowd of people gathered at the temple to listen to Jesus speak. The Pharisees complained to each other, This man spends more time teaching sinners than with those of us who obey the laws. He even eats with those people. Jesus overheard them. And he said, Suppose a shepherd has a hundred sheep and loses just one lamb. Would he not leave the ninety-nine behind and seek out the lamb who is lost? I tell you, there is more joy in heaven over one sinner who comes to God than over ninety-nine who already believe. And he told the Pharisees the parable of the prodigal son. There was once a man who had two sons. And one day, the younger son came to his father and said, Father, give me the share of the property that is mine, for I wish to go and see the world. The father gave him his share, and a few days later, the younger son collected his belongings and went away to a distant land. Once there, he spent everything he had, wasting all of his money on wine and extravagant living. spent it all, a terrible famine struck the country, and he was very hungry. He was too ashamed to return to his family, so he looked for work on a farm as a laborer. farmer sent him out to feed the pigs, and the young man was so hungry he wanted to eat the food that the pigs ate. And then he came to his senses, and he thought, my father's servants have plenty to eat, and yet here am I, dying with hunger. I will get up and go to my father and ask him to let me work as a servant. And so the younger son got up and went home. And when he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion for him 
and ran to his son and held him close and kissed him. He was so thankful to see him alive. And the young son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Let me work for you and be one of your servants. But the father called for his servants. Quickly, bring out the best robe for my son. Put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet and bring out the fatted calf and kill it and we shall celebrate with a great feast. Let us eat and be merry. For this son of mine was lost and now he is found. And so the celebration began. Meanwhile, the older son had been working hard in the hot fields all day. And when he came toward the house, he heard music and dancing. He asked a servant, what is this? The servant said, your brother has come home and your father is having a party because he is so happy to have him back safe. And the older son was angry and refused to go in and join the feast. And when his father came out to plead with him, the son said, All these years I have worked hard for you and never once disobeyed you, always did what you said. You never gave me a feast or a celebration with my friends. Yet he goes off and wastes your money, and he comes home, and you kill the fatted calf and celebrate. And the father said, My son, you are always with me, and what is mine is yours. But we must be merry and rejoice for your brother whom we thought was dead, is alive. He was lost, and now he is found. The Pharisees turned away and said, Ah! But others were quiet, for they understood what Jesus said. If someone sins and says, I'm sorry, you should forgive Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given unto you. For as much as you give will be what you get back. And Jesus walked along the cool banks of the River Jordan, through the hills and fields of Galilee, and the streets of Jerusalem bringing his message of forgiveness and love. And some people believed, and others turned away. Blessed are they who walk not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners. They are like trees planted by streams of water that yield fruit in its season. In all that they do, they prosper. Thank you for listening on Second Chance Ministry.